So you didn't mind dropping by Tad's to drop Jamie oh, off? No, 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 no. I got a chance to see Junior. I thought you got along very nicely. We've come a long way. Thank God. You know what? Adam Jr. is a wonderful kid. He really is. Takes after his mother, I'm relieved to say. <laughs> I had a great time with you and Jamie at McKay's. What did you do with those tickets that you got? You know, the tickets that you win at the pinball? Oh, uh, Jamie scored a uh, pocket harmonica and some yummy bears. Oh, oh. <laughs> I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes. Come on. Don't do I this, Adam. I insist that you close your eyes. No, right? forget it. Oh, humor me, please. Please. Oh, what is it? The Hope Diamond? Tickets at the Scala? Okay. Open up. <laughs> oh, Adam. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, no, I saw this. I said... That's Brooke. Absolutely. Uh, turn it over. There's an inscription. Oh, <laughs> made in Thailand. Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep this as a remembrance of tonight. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, oh. What's your pleasure? That's a loaded question. <laughs> Adam. Oh, uh, uh, yes, sir. I'll have Anisette and the lady will have a Brandy Alexander. Well, you and the elephants. <laughs> <laughs> now, I remember all your special preferences. Hmm. Um, uh, scrambled eggs, soft. Always the bedroom window open at night. And I recall that you like to sleep stark staring naked. During the course of our marriage, that resulted in many sleepless nights. Whoa, Tiger. Back in your cage. We were great together. We still are. I don't want to have this conversation. Oh, come on. Don't be coy. We're a pair of consenting adults. We, we don't went even... out with my son tonight. We had dinner, all right? It was not a date. You called me. Yes. Yeah, well, you asked me out. That To me, that's a date. I asked you out so I, I could thank you for the appliances that you donated to the shelter, and I'm sorry if I conveyed some other message. I apologize. Why did you come with me here for a nightcap? Because I was having a good time. Well, it doesn't have to end. Brooke, admit it. We're great together. Together, we are a force to... There is no we. There's you, and there's me, singular, all right? Get your pronouns straight, or you can hit the road right now. <clears throat> your wish is my command. What are you doing? You told me to hit the road. <laughs> so I'm hitting it. It's uh, been a lovely evening. Second thought is not good form to leave a lady to find her own way home. So, uh, you take my car, I'll walk. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'll take a cab. Tell the dispatcher that you're cabbing it to the homeless shelter. You'll still be here for breakfast. All right, I'll, uh, I'll give you a lift. You want another Brandy Alexander? How do you do that? Well, first you make this noble gesture by leaving, and then you out-noble yourself by coming back. <laughs> Brooke, I have nothing up my sleeve here. If I, if I stepped out of bounds earlier, I apologize. I don't want to scare you. If you want to play it safe, 
and slow, I say, steady she goes. Mm-hmm. Famous last word. Have I ever broken a promise to you? <laughs> well... Well, I mean in the last month. I swore that I wouldn't encroach on your space while you were staying at the homeless shelter. Have I not been as good as my word? What are you up to? Nothing. You're not acting like yourself, but you're not fooling me. Do you think after all this time, I think I could put something over on you? I know what this reverse psychology is, this low sales pressure bit. This is to lull me into a false security. No, there's nothing false about it. You are completely safe with me. You have my word as a gentleman.